Hey guys, this is Chandan Kumar from India and once again I am here with my new tutorial for CG Tools Plus exclusively and this time I will tell you about tone shading in 3ds Max and we can do it in several ways the first way is with the default scan line rendering and the second way is uh, with mental ray so, so let's move ahead and I create a teapot in the viewport something like this Let me increase its segments. Okay. Now, if you render this, you will find some uh, a plain 3D look. First of all, I change uh, the background color to s to s gray color, something like this. And now, uh, hit M to open the material editor. And to apply tone shader onto this teapot, first change the mode into ink and paint. So this is ink and paint and if you apply it, you will find something like this. Ink and paint basically comes with two things, ink and paint. And if you disable the ink right now, and if you render it you will find something like this this is a pure paint and you can change the color of paint something like this and um, this is the shaded color if you in decrease it you will get the harsh shadow shaded uh, part so keep it for uh, 70 is good and now uh, this is highlight by default highlight is off so may make it on and uh, if you render it you will get some glossiness and you, you, you can increase the glossiness and de or de decrease it something like this see this this is fine and now this is ink if you enable the ink, by default it comes with one. This is the least quality, so increase it to three. Three is the maximum. So it takes some time because ink takes some time to render. And these are several other parameters like uh, uh, width. You you can go for uh, maximum width like this okay and um, like the out outline color you you can change with uh, something like this these are the outline color these are the overlap color maybe wherever uh, the contour uh, overlaps you will get such colors so I, I keep it uh, black and black which is the d default uh, uh, and this is kind of underlap so you'll get some this kind of thing you know so if you decrease the underlap uh, bias you'll get some more uh, you know thing so if you want uh, if, if you think that it's okay for your purpose then it's fine otherwise we can do it with the mental ray too and if you do it with mental ray you won't get such kind of uh, you know fizziness and uh, you know some uh, let's see the quality of ink is uh, quite low in scan line rendering so if you want to uh, render it with mental ray so first of all um, let me change. first of all go to rendering or in the setup and uh, change the renderer from default scan line to mental ray okay now if you render it 
you won't get much uh, you know difference so if you're working with mental ray because i said that the ink quality is not good so just disable it and close this roll out of uh, ink here and uh, go to renderer and you will find contours here so turn it on and in the material editor the bottom will find mental reconnection so open it and the bottom you will find advanced shaders it's contour so click on none and you will find several contours so i would choose um, i think contour simple is quite good so just click on it so contour simple comes and this is the color of contour just like ink and the width of contour just like ink width so with these settings selected so click on render and you get something like this and this time quality is much better if you decrease it with the one, two you'll get much fine quality and if you increase it with something like this so we get something like this so there are less edges here yeah, jagged edges so it makes the quality of uh, you know uh, the tone shading quite good now you can do one more thing to make the quality much better and the job of the sampling quality you can uh, change the minimum to 4 and the maximum to 16 and in the filter type you can choose a uh, Michel is good and maybe make it uh, 8 and 8 and now click on render it will take some time now it comes very fine see quality of contour is quite good you can uh, uh, put some lights also like um, go to uh, standard lights and since uh, we are uh, rendering it with mental ray engine so I'll choose uh, area omnifine and I'll put light here something like this and now render it and I will get the shaded part also because uh, we have applied light here so it, it makes it quite good and uh, you can uh, and uh, you can um, uh, decrease the you know uh, Glossiness of uh, this, maybe something like this. Take some time. Fine. So this is how we can uh, do it, and. Uh, just like this uh, and following the same method I have made a small scene and um, this is the small scene with uh, several objects like uh, house trees etc these trees are made with the simple spheres I have animated the camera also These are the materials I have used. So I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. See you next time. This is Chandra Kumar for C Tweets Plus exclusively. Bye bye.